Shalom, Yasharal. I want to get infinite honors to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh by Hashem and Karkadash. I want to give double honors to our teachers, the apostles of Great Millstone. And um, salutation to my uh, fellow laborers in Yahweh, Shah, pushing this truth across the four winds with Don Finn Trim. Call me Yasharal. All right. Um, it's a late night. What time it is? About three in, damn near three in the morning. I couldn't get no rest. So. Just went and got jumped in the scriptures and started looking at some videos and some clips. And um, I came across a clip about uh a riot that took that um that happened in China. And that bitch looked like it was it that, I'm gonna play I'm gonna play the clip. It was it was like it was violent. It was like cops getting bust in the head with bricks and so on and so forth, and you had thousands of thousand of people in the streets. So when we look at things like that, you know, we know that's what we're about to go to. And, you know, you're supposed to be preparing your yourself to go through things that set in your heart all right. OK, this is Second Peter 311. And it reads, seeing that all these things shall be dissolved. All right. We know ultimately America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. But before America is destroyed by um, these missiles, all hell is going to break loose. All right. It's going to be great death in the streets. People are going to be dying grievous deaths. Their bodies uh, are not going to be buried. And no one's going to lament. All right. America's going to become a third world country overnight. All right. And the men of the Lord has to go through this thing, man. All right. So what you know, and you have to go through this thing, you have to be building up wisdom and knowledge. So you could be, it's going to be your stabilizer. And you have to be praying and fasting to the heavenly father to get you out of these sticky situations. All right. Because the the hour of temptation is not for the elect; it's for to bring judgment upon the wicked. But at at the same time, the elect man is going to have to have wisdom and knowledge to stabilize him and faith to get him through it. All right. So you're supposed to be building up your faith, working on your weaknesses. All right. Um, and purging yourself. Um, in these last days, seconds, and times before we uh get in the game, because we about to go get in the game. All right. The coach about to throw all us in the game, man. 144,000 men, hopeful elect men. All right. This is uh second Peter three and 11, seeing that all these things shall be dissolved. All right. All these things shall come to pass. All right. What manner of persons ought you to be in holy conversation and godliness? You ought to be paying, preparing yourself to go through riots. All right. It's going to have checkpoints. All right. If you don't have that really hill frequency identification chip, you're going to be deemed a terrorist. All right. So you got to be uh, had you you got to have that spiritual indicator that that connection with you and the heavenly father where, you know, he just y'all have that contact. All right. And I'm going to go through a few precepts and show you that 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 relationship where you can hear that that voice in your head. All right. You usually got to be working on the intimate relay where you should have been doing it ever, ever since you went been in the faith. All right. But you got to be. You know, being king, man, keen in the spirit, hearing that voice of Yahweh Bashim Shah. Should we go left? Should we go right? Yahweh Bashim Shah. We haven't eight in five or six days, Yahweh Bashim Shah. Uh, when are you gonna feed us, my Lord? You know, had that had that, that faith in him and believe that he's gonna get you through whatever you go through because we about to go through some shit. Okay, so I'm about to go to this clip. And I'm going to be stopping and interject, interjecting with scriptures, man. It's like when I look at shit like this, I put myself in the movie. All right. I put myself in the movie. But I'm going to tell you this. This is a ride. The men of the Lord, we're not going to be in rides. If you're a man of the Lord. Now, the most high, now different brothers have different lots. Let's say a brother works in a city or something and all hell break loose here in the city. All right. You got to have that that sixth sense. Uh, I mean that spiritual connection with your power to get you through tough situations like this, okay? Because it's gonna be nasty. This, this is small potatoes compared on to what's gonna happen. But check this shit out. All right.
All right, now look, when you have a, a, a complete government collapse, all right, you always going to have deviants, opportunists, all right? Now, let's say all hell breaking loose. You got thousands and thousands of people in the street, all right? They, they can't afford bread and water, so what they want to do, top of the government. This is what societies do when they collapse, all right? Thousands of, thousands of people come in, they riot, all right? Now, let's say... You, you're not one of the ones that ride. You at home. All right. Opportunist is going to be all through the outskirts of the city. Uh, uh, taking advantage of people, taking advantage of the weak, man. This, that's when the, um, when, when our society collapsed, the law of the jungle is instituted. And guess what? Only the strong survive. And guess what? When all hell break loose, when you look at the, the lions in the segregated, segregated, Serengeti, even a strong get taken down. An alpha lion to get killed by another alpha lion. You see what I'm saying? So even if the strong get taken down when all hell break loose, okay? So what when you, when all hell break loose, all right, that's the city. You're on the outskirts of the city. All right, you got people going through, spoiling one another, killing one another. What are you going to do? All right, how are you prepared to handle that? All right? Oh, I got a gun. I got that iron. Everybody has a gun. Everybody's killing people. All right? When you have guns, the only thing that makes a man win a gun is time and chance. And the most high controls that event. You could be going to kill somebody else and you could have a sniper in the top of a tree killing. Kill, you kill a guy, then a sniper shoots you in the head and kill you. And you, you're, you, have, uh, you can have three guns on your body full of ammo. What good is it? All right. So the most high controls the issues of death. So a gun can't save you in a day like that. And then you can't run. You can't hide. You have to have the most high with the uh, guiding you through scenarios like this. OK, you got to You got to have a relationship with your high. That's the only way you're going to get through a scenario like that. And that, and the way you get through a scenario like that is what you do right now. All right. Which I. With your precious time right now. This is our Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6. You pray to the most high. We when you had the truth and you and you could tell the future, these future events, you pray to the most high to protect you in these future events. I give you the strength to go through whatever you have to get through. Because some brothers are gonna be martyrs. All right. This is Isaiah 55, 6. 55 verse 6. Seek ye Yahweh why he may be found. Call up on him while he is near. So you see that it's going to be riots. It's going to be all hell breaking loose. You know that before it happens. So what are you supposed to do? Prepare yourself. You pray to Yahweh Bashim Shah right now. If you have children, protect you, your children. If you got an obedient woman you're dealing with, that that your household will be saved. That first and foremost, and your brothers, that you and your brothers, if it, if the Most High um, deem it permissible, the child be together. Um, during it because it's strength in numbers and that you and your brothers and their households y'all be together and y'all be ducked off away from that madness because I can tell you right now a man of the Lord is not going to be going to no fucking riots we ain't going to be going to no riots now if if that's the most high lot why if that's the most high is a brother's lot that the most high has paved out for a brother where he might be at work or some downtown or trying to get from one one end of the city to the other he gets caught in it all right. That's where that wisdom and knowledge will stabilize him and get him out of it. But brothers, when we see it, um, this shit going down, man, brothers, man, we're going to head for the hills, man. All right. Brothers are going to head for the hills. We're not going in the city uh, politicking and uh, protesting. None of that bullshit. All right. We're not doing none of that. In fact, this is uh, this is. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 3, and it reads, A prudent man for see of the either. All right. Us a hopeful elect men, we're we're rocking in the spirit of prudence, man. All right. We see this bullshit coming. We see it coming a mile away. All right. The elders of Great Mill still Great Millstone have seen it 40 years ago. All right. They seen it 40 years in the future. They've been preparing themselves 40 years. 
Then you got uh, elder brothers that's been in 20 years, all right? Some brothers been in 10, 15, so on and so forth. But brothers been preparing for these days, man, all right? These are those days that has been prophesied about and that the brothers been prophesying about. Now it's time to take what we've learned and apply it to our lives, all right? And don't get scared when we see 10,000 falling at one side or 1,000 falling at the other side. Wait, 10 million or 1 million falling at one side, 1 million falling at the other. Let me get that. All right, let me finish this. A prudent man for seeth the evil and hiding of himself, all right? The way we hide ourselves is call out the high by Shema Mashiach to protect us according to Psalms 94 and 22. The most high is our defense, okay? But the simple pass on or are punished, all right? The simple going to be down there protesting, all right? Looting and bullshit and going to go down there and get their asses killed, Okay? <coughs> that's not going to be the lot of a man of the Lord. Okay? Let me get that on. It's Psalms, all right? This is Psalms 91. All right? All right? Um, uh, I don't know exactly where it is. I just know it's in this chapter. Here we go. Psalms 91 and 5. Thou shall not be afraid of the terror by night. All right. So it's going to be plenty of terrors by night in these last days, seconds, and times, man. But the most I tell is, man, don't, don't fret. All right. Don't fret or be envious of the workers of iniquity. All right. That's trying to bring the enterprise to pass. Okay. Because we have Yahweh Bashem Awashah on our side. We're going to see all this great death. But we, a man of the Lord has been building, getting built up on his most holy faith. All right. He's not going to fret. Okay. But right now is the time to be getting built up on your holy faith. Holy uh, faith. All right. Before all of it happens. Nor the arrow that fly by day. Nor the pestilence that walk in the darkness. All right. So you about to see uh, pestilence killing people famine killing people and ultimately it's going to be these missiles all right nor the destruction that wasted at noonday okay so when all this hell um is breaking loose the men of the lord are going to be stabilized okay we're not going to be fretting we're not going to be scared all right because our faith is in your heart about shim our shot and we built that relationship with him when 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 things when when there were clear skies and nothing was going down okay a thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand. Interchange that with million. One million shall fall at, at one side and 10 million at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Okay? But it won't come near you. So that's why it's imperative you, uh, you, you, you purge right now, man. Fast, pray, all right? And don't fret. All right, all these people in the frenzy because it's Corona scare, man. The brothers, man, that's been, you know, been built up, all right, and, and been praying and fasting, man. That shit don't move a brother. You're not about to see a brother walking around with this shit, with them little things, them, those nurse things on their face, a, a, a gas, an air tank on their face and shit, a hazmat suit. All right, where's your faith? The most I say, no other pestilence that walk in darkness, nor destruction that waste of a noonday. It would not come the dwelling of, of his servants. A man, not one hair on their head would be harmed. All right? Unless it's your lot to be a martyr. That's it. Okay? Let me go back to this clip. Because the shit funny. But it's serious. You know what I'm saying? All right? It's serious. But you got to be, you got to learn uh, from the end. And prepare for these things, man. And we'll prepare for them. See, what you going to do if you caught in this hell, man? And you got little children or whatnot. What you going to do? Are you going to press the panic button? All right? Are you going to be rolling in the spirit, man? When you, even when all this shit happened, when, 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 the, when the ship was about to go down, all right? Uh, the, 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 the disciples and our great king was in our typhoon. 
you know, uh, uh, you know, it felt like they was in a typhoon. They was in the in, in the ocean, and the, the ship was going down, and everybody was crying. All right, everybody was in the uproar. Our great king was in the ship sleeping, man. He was on the ship sleeping, cause he had that faith, man. Everybody was panicking, but he was sleep. He was sleep on the ship. They was like, pray, pray. We about to, the ship is about to sink. And our great king woke up, man, and said, oh, you a little faith. And he stopped the winds. That's how you got to be when we in sticky situations like this. Even if this devil's got us in 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 his uh in his hole, you know, he got us in a concentration camp. Man, you still have faith, man. All right? You be cool, cool, cool as a cucumber, man. All right? If you have a weakness where you you get razzled dazzled a lot and you have issues with your emotions, that's me. You gotta purge. That that that's one of my weaknesses, man. All right. Let your emotions get the best of you. So you gotta purge, man. You gotta uh have a self-analysis of yourself, find out whatever weakness you is, because that weakness will get you killed in that day. So you need wisdom to stabilize you. And, and the most high, uh, when you read um first Corinthians. Chapter 12 and verse 9. I don't want to vein jangle it. Let me go get it. Let me go get it. I don't want to vein jangle. We got to be ye perfect. All right. First Corinthians 12 and 9. What does it say? All right. I would have been vein jangling. Uh, what that passage at? My string is. Or oh, it might be 2 Corinthians 12 and 9. Maybe 2 Corinthians 12 and 9. What does it say? That's it. That's it. That's what I want. 2 Corinthians 12 and 9. And he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. All right? But the way you tap into his strength, man, you have to be intimate with our Heavenly Father. All right? You got to pray and fast daily, man. All right? And, you know, I'm not going to say fast daily, but fast often. All right? And you got to pray to him daily. All right? You you come to him, you show him, tell him your weaknesses, what, what areas you're weak in, all right? And he's going to um, give you his strength, man. He's going to give you the strength to go through whatever you have to go through, okay? Most gladly, therefore, I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of your heart shall may rest in it, all right? So, all right, he say his yoke is easy. Those that are heavy laden and have burdens, all right, he say put up on his yoke because it's easy, man. You just... Go to our Heavenly Father, man, and he he uh he loves those that seek him early, man. Those that seek him will find him, man. And he will answer, he will grant your request. Okay? Your request in these last days, seconds and times, should be give you the strength to go through whatever we gotta go through in these last days. Give you the faith. All right, and give you the wisdom and knowledge to stabilize you, man. Cause it's about to go down. All right. The, the rubber about to meet the highway, man. And you can't get around it. You can't get around it. Talk is cheap, man. It's time for some action, man. We about to go through it, man. All right? Then we, in the last, um, then, then we would know who the most high's uh, precious stones are, man. We about to find out. Okay? All right, you know, in these crowds, man, you, you, it's gonna be shit like that happen, man. This dude got a pistol, but you gonna have uh, these stormtroopers, so on and so forth, gonna have live rounds with machine guns, and they just gonna open up in the fucking crowds, man. They gonna open up. All right, people gonna be getting bust up to pieces. Let me find that. Uh, people gonna be. Getting bust up, man. Shredded to pieces, man. All right. Bear with me, Yashara. Let me find that preset. Here we go. Is Isaiah uh, 13 and 16. Their children shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. All right. 
Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished, man. All right. These are the calamities that's going to be a normal sight in these days. You're going to see little children getting dashed to pieces and raped. All right. And eating. You're going to walk past and they're going to have children on barbecue grills, rotisserie in that ass, they asses. Or you might see uh, sexual deviants out just going to town on little children. Okay? And you're going to see women. Rape going to be, that's what the Most High is going to use to humble the daughters of Zion. They, they independent asses. All right? Their asses going to be getting raped to death. And that day, I, I assure you, they're not going to want to dress like sluts. I, I assure you, they're going to want to be fully covered in that day, but it's going to be too late. Okay? This is verse 7. Skip down to verse 18. Their bowls shall also dash the young man into pieces, man. And that's going to be on these stormtroopers coming through just um, light niggas up, man. Lighting up all the nations. They just going to come through. And these crowds, when these crowds conjure up like that, and they just going to open fire in those crowds, man. And they're going to be dashing people to, bend, to pieces. And you got motherfuckers having ARs, AKs, M16s, all right? And just shooting the crowds. People limbs going to be getting knocked off with them assault rifles, man. That's that's what a dash you in the pieces. The fucking long ass bullets, man. Okay? And they should have no pity on the, pity on the fruit of the womb. And they eyes should not spare again. Look, let's look at this. You see anybody showing pity in this clip? And this small potatoes. Anybody trying to show mercy in this clip? These look like madmen sparing nothing. You see that, man, these motherfuckers right here. Let me go back a little bit so you can see exactly what they're doing. They are busting the ground up so they can get bricks to throw. See, it's not that they just leaning on the ground right here. They are breaking the ground up so they can get bricks to go bust uh, cops' heads with them. That's what they're doing. They're getting bricks so they could go throw at the cops, man. All right? That's the uproars of the people that you read in Matthew the 24th chapter, man. All right? Beautiful times, man. But you got to have wisdom to stabilize you. If you're not used to seeing dead bodies, corpse, maggots, children getting raped, women getting raped, men getting raped to death, uh, motherfuckers dying of famine, pestilence everywhere, you're going to have to have a strong stomach to get through this, man. And the only thing that's going to stabilize you is wisdom and knowledge, okay? Now this Hong Kong, all right? A lot of places have strict gun laws, okay? A lot of places, they, they, they just they regular people can't get weapons like you can here in America. In America, when this shit happen, oh man, it's gonna be it's gonna be the citizens open fire. It's not gonna be just the it's not gonna be just the authorities opening fire on the citizens. The citizens are gonna be opening back fire on the authorities. Shit, the citizens uh, uh, um, here in America got just as much uh, artillery as these motherfucking cops, man. Man, these damn devils down here in this Bible Belt, man, they got 8Ks, SKs, uh, shit with, with letters and numbers you can't pronounce. All right? M-Raps, they got regular citizens down here with M-Raps and shit, man. And the welded all type of, what, the welded bulletproof cars together and shit. Man, it's about to be nasty in these last days, man. All right? Let me get a precept. Uh, this is uh, Proverbs. This is Proverbs 6, 16, and it reads. Nah, that's not what I want. It's 6 and 6, I guess. That's what I want. Proverbs 6 and 6. Go to the ant, thou sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise. Now, how do you go to the ant? The ant prepares for the future. During the, the winter and summer months, the ant is preparing for the winter. Wait, during the summer and spring, Salakia, during the summer and spring months, the ant is preparing for the winter, okay? 
So that's what you can learn for the preparing yourself for what's to come. All right. We need to be preparing ourselves for these times, man. And these times is all hell break loose. Jeremiah 30 and 7. All right. The devil coming down on us with great wrath because he know he have but a short time. According to Revelation, the 12th chapter, man, Jacob's trouble and, 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 and the hour of temptation was one of the same. man. All right. Everybody that rejects that radio frequency identification chip will be an enemy of the state, man. When you're an enemy of the state, man, these devils going to come down on you unmercifully. OK. All right. Which have no God, overseer or ruler, provided her meat in the summer and give her her food in the harvest. All right. So that's what we're supposed to be doing, man. We're supposed to be getting built up while YouTube's still up, where you can get all these breakdowns, all these rivers of living water. Brothers doing edifying sit downs day in and day out. All right. You're supposed to be uh, reading your scriptures every day. And praying to your high Bashem Awashai to get you through these times, man. Um, I bring this precept out right here. Damn near every sit down. This is uh this is Hebrews 4 and 16, man. Let us therefore come boldly into the throne of grace. You gotta go to the throne of grace daily, man. You gotta seek your high Bashem Awashai daily. Wake up and pray, man. That we might obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. And this is a depiction of the time of need right here. When all hell, hell break loose. Okay. <laughs> Don't cry now, motherfucker. All right, now these, these damn gooks. They using sticks and stones, man. If this was America, this would be uh motherfuckers shoot uh shooting guns, man, live rounds. If the citizens up with and it's gonna happen, when the citizens buck up in, in America like that, man, these these um cops are gonna open up in these on these fucking crowds. Cause the crowds always outnumber the cops in, in, in um rides like these, all right? That's why it'd be hard for them to get in, get them in control, man. All right? And a lot of times they have to uh, bring out the National Guard and shit. But motherfuckers are going to be attacking the National Guard these last days. So I'm going to get them precepts to her. Second Ezra's. You don't see nobody showing mercy, man. Where's mercy? All right? They're going to be like madmen sparing none. All right, that looks like a madman beat the shit out of him with this stick, man. All right, these prophets is jumping off the book, man. <laughs> now you looking how they beating the shit out of these guys? They they wailing on them now. Just imagine if these people had guns. All right, nobody's gonna be sparing nobody. Now just imagine all these people with stick had guns. It would be a bloodbath. And I can't wait to see these cops um get their judgment. Because we're living in a time of judgment. Everybody's going to get their judgment. Everybody's going to get what's coming to them. The good and the bad. All right? The elect and the wicked. Everybody's going to get what's coming to them. Whether your deeds be good or bad. Okay? And I just can't wait to see these, these cops, man, to get judgment. Because these motherfuckers just fuck with people for no reason. And, and, and these a lot of these cops... Uh, with guys that got bullied in school and they hate guys that remind them of the guys that bullied them or the guys that they wanted to be. And they just fuck with people for nothing, man. All right? They rough up people and fuck you over for nothing. All right? I can't wait to, to, to see them get their judgment, man. Let them read what they've sown.
Uh, just think about it. Just look at this. You got to extrapolate when you look at shit like this. Now, what if a guy went and pulled a bitch to the side and dragged her in, in the corner and, and, and just went to town on her? That's going to be normal. And people are not going to be coming to their aid, man. Stuff like this is going to happen and nobody's going to, when they say, and their wives ravished, that means all women um, are going to be getting ravished, man, in that day. All right? You're going to have guys that, that are not so-called sexual devi deviants that are just going to turn into monsters in that day. You got the, your average Joe around here. When he when he has a lack of bread and water, he, he's going to uh, regurgitate and turn just like a domesticated pig. When you turn him in the wild, he uh he goes backwards and he turns into a wild boar. All right, all those survival instincts come up. A, a, a pink domesticated pig, you you turn him out in the wild. He the next time you see him, he's gonna be the grown tusk and and and, and black hair. That's what your average Joe's gonna do in this society. Your average so called mild mannered guy that hasn't had no water. In three days, it hasn't eaten. In two weeks, he's going to turn into a maniac, man. And he's going to do whatever it takes to feed, feed his belly. If that, take, if that means killing someone, all right, taking someone's life, he's going to do it, man. All right? When people put in dire situations, they do dire things to survive, man. These are the times we're living in, and they were prophesied 2,000, 3,000 years ago, man. And look how they beating the shit out the fucking cops, man. Let me get that uh second answers. All right, fifteen. Where I'm gonna go to? Uh, I'm gonna start at start at sixteen. Should I start? I'm going to start at 14. Woe to the world and then that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draw of not. And one people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hands. That's what you're seeing. That's going to happen throughout the earth. That's not just, it's going to be the, the, the hot pit, the hot zone is going to be America, okay? The hot zone is going to be America, but it's going to happen throughout the earth. Like it's basically happening around the earth right now. But when it hits America, it's going to be a hundredfold, okay? For there shall be a sedition amongst men. And that's what you see right there. That's sedition on that, on that, uh, on that clip I'm playing. All right. But that's not near you. People are going to be dying. You're going to see people laying in puddles of blood when it, when it gets to its full power. And invading one another. And they shall not regard their kings nor princes. Nobody regarding those uh, cops. Nobody's regarding them. They're attacking them. <laughs> They're attacking them, trying to kill them, man. They're picking up bricks and busting them in their head. They're trying to kill them. That day is going to come. I can't wait to see that day on these dirty-ass cops, man. And their course of their actions shall stand in their power. That's what you see right there. This is written 3,000 years ago, man. All right, well, close to it, Ezra. Ezra's might have lived. Ezra's lived. Ezra was there for the building of the second temple, so... Oh, uh, that was about 500 years before the, the Messiah. All right. So, that, yeah, that's 20, about 2,500 years ago. Okay. Close to 3,000 years. All right. This thing was written. This is 2,000 years before all hell break loose. It was written. Okay. All right. And it's down to a T. All right. Down to the to the to the last jot period and comma man it's gonna happen like it's written all right and a man shall desire to go in the city and shall not be able to all right martial law these uh 
The government officials are going to shut down the cities. And you, we seeing that right now. All right. If you want to go in Texas, uh, you just a regular Joe. You got to be quarantined 14 days before they let you cross the border. OK, the state line. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled and their houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. But not the elect men, not the men that are seeking your high by Shema Rashad, why he may be found getting built up in the spirit, man, rolling in the spirit. Because we know this is to come. When we see it, we're going to be all right. It's just like the scriptures prophesied, man. Okay? Brothers are going to be cute, cool as cucumbers when all hell break loose. And a man shall have no pity on his neighbor, but they shall destroy their houses with the sword, all right? And that's what I was saying. If that's ground zero with the riots breaking out, just imagine, and all, of, all of the, the, the city got its cops at ground zero. What Guess what's going to be happening in the little suburbs and the neighborhoods, all right? P um, opportunists is going to go ransack people. You're going to have sexual demons going to rape people, all right? You're going to have little, little groups of teenagers just going to spoil people. I mean, you're going to have all type of things happening, all right? All right? And man shall have no pity on his neighbor, but they shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation, all right? And the prophet's been saying this. Uh, our, our elders been saying this the last 40 years, man. They've been teaching us to, to us young lads, man, all right? Us young brothers, and we've been teaching it since we've came in, and we've seen it come to pass, man. It builds up your faith when you see these type things, when you see these prophecies being fulfilled, man. That lets you know our great king, second coming to the planet Earth, is nigh, man. And Israel is going to be at the pinnacle of the nations, man, ruling. All right? These some beautiful times we, we're living in, but we got to go through them. All right? Uh, I'm going to play a little bit more and then I'm going to go get a few more precepts from uh, Isaiah 19. Journalists is goddamn fools, man. Journalists always going to rise. They need their ass attacked. They want you want to take a picture of that fucking bad. Your ass, you need to get your fucking head on um, bust up, man. Any man of understand any man. I mean, I'm not. I'm, you don't even have to be spiritual. If you got common sense, you don't go to shit like that. You you, you go away from it, man. You get away from some shit like that. You don't go in the midst of it. Who would pity the, ch the uh, charmer when he's bitten by the snake, man? The fuck out of here. Scram. I bought out that clip. I bought out that clip. That clip is small potatoes. All right. And that's, that, you know, and that's, 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 some, that's some, a lot of uh, pandemonium going on right there. But that's nothing compared to what's going to uh, come here in America. This is Isaiah 19 and 2. And I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptians. All right. I will set the Americans against the Americans. All right. We all know this is spiritual Egypt we're living in. All right. And they shall fight everyone against his neighbor and everyone against his neighbor city against city 
and kingdom against kingdom, man. It's 3,000 years ago, all right? Depicting what was going to happen in our day and time, okay? All right? During the time of uh, Isaiah, man, Egypt had lost its luster, lost its glory, man. It's talking about this spiritual Egypt where we dwell at now. And these is you're going to have class wars, race wars, all right? All type of wars around this, this bitch. You have guys that is going to uh, take advantage of uh, society collapsing and all hell breaking loose and go kill their damn baby mothers and shit, man. All right, that's been having them on child support talking shit over the years. Man, you're going to have all type of madness going on. All right, and the men that are going to be comforted is the men that's uh, rolling in the spirit, man, and building up that, that seeking the most high why he may be found and building up their relationship with Yahweh so that you can hear him during times like that. This is Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And strength of salvation and the fear of Yahweh is his treasure. All right? So you got to get built up on these scriptures. That's the only thing that's going to stabilize you. Now I want to bring out this, um, this scripture here to show you how King David got down when the insurrection came down on him. Let's see what our, our great King David did. All right? Now, check this out. David had that relationship with Yahweh Bashim al Shai, where it was like he had that, that, that built in, that, that, that built in sonar, you may say. The Most High, uh, when he was in Sticks' situation, answered his prayers and told him what to do and where to go. All right. This is 1 Samuel 23, and I'm going to start at verse 4. All right. Then David acquired of Yahweh yet again. See, that's what we're supposed to be doing now. All right. David was seeking Yahweh daily. So when he when he asked Yahweh a question, Yahweh Shemar a question, and he got an answer. What do you want me to do? Let's see. Now, David got the whole nation. He has uh David had the whole Israelite army looking for him to kill him. All right. Now let's see what how he dealt with it. Then David inquired of Yahweh yet again, and Yahweh answered him and said, Arise, go down to Keilah, for I will deliver the Philistines in thy hand. So David and his men went into Keilah and fought and fought the Philistines and bought away their cattle, smote them with a great slaughter. So David saved the inhabitants of Keilah. And it came to pass when Abatar the son of Abelomet fled to David to Keilah, that he came down with the apart in his hand. And it was told Saul that David was come to Keilah. And Saul said, Yahweh have delivered him in my hand. Let's show you that Saul was deliver, uh, was deceived, man. That's why the scriptures say to deceive, deceive and to deceive the his. All right. He had that foul spirit on, the, on, his, on his ass. He coming against the man of the Lord. And then he talking about the man of the, the most high was with him. Let's show you he was bugged out. You coming against the Most High's elect, but you talking about the Most High about to offer him up to you. That show you he was bugged out. He was he was going off his fucking chalupa, man. All right? For he is shut in by entering into a town that has have gates and bars. But you see, how it had an insurrection against David, all right? That was it was it was sedition going on against David, all right? All right. Saul had commanded the Israelite army. All right. And he had them. Uh, he had David posted up as public enemy number one. All right. And Saul called the people together to war to go down to Keilah to besiege David and his men. And David knew that Saul was secretly practicing mischief against him. And he said to Abatar the priest, bring hither the Alpard. All right. And that's the uh, Urim and the Thurm. All right. And then said David, O Yahweh, power of Yasharala, thy servant have servantly heard that Saul seeketh to come to Keilah to destroy the city for my sake. See, now that's what we're going to be doing during Jacob's trouble. All right? You're going to have insurgents coming against us, drones, so on and so forth. And we're going to seek Yahweh and, and, and see what he wants us to do. All right? David in a sticky situation. He got, he got platoons coming for him now, okay? With the men of Caliber delivering you up in his hand. And these are people he just delivered to show you you're not going to be able to trust nobody of the world. 
This pe the people of Kila, Kila are the people that he just delivered out of the hand of the Philistines. All right. Will Saul come down as thy servant have heard? O Yahweh Israel, I beseech thee, tell thy servant. And Yahweh said he would come down. Now you see how he got that relationship and the Most High is answering his questions while he's in a sticky situation? All right, that came from when, when, when times were good, when David was in the field with the sheep and stuff, how he was seeking the Lord. He didn't just seek to start seeking the Lord at one time. He had been doing it his whole life and built their relationship with him. All right? When shit hit the fan, it's too late to start trying to call out to Yahweh. You, you call out to him uh, while he may be found. As soon as you come into faith, you build up their relationship with him. Okay? Then David, then said David, will the miller, the men of Keilah deliver me and my men into his hand of Saul? And Yahweh said, they will deliver thee up. You see, that's why you ain't going to be able to trust nobody in the world in that day. All right? <coughs> Although David just delivered these people out of the hand of the Philistines, they still wanted to follow the government. That's what our people do. All right. They want to follow the government. They're going to do what the government say. All right. They don't take in consideration. We would be dead if it wasn't for King David. You see what I'm saying? Then David and his men, which were about 600, arose and depart out of Keilah and went wherever they could go. And it was told Saul that, David would escape from Keilah, and he forbade to go forth. And David abode in the wilderness in strongholds and remained in that mountain in the wilderness of Ziph. And sought, sought him every day, but Yahweh delivered him not in his hand. And that's what, how it's going to happen with us. And where did David go? He went in the wilderness. We're going to, we, you know, we plan to go in the wilderness, you know. And, and you know, the most I might keep brothers in, in, certain, in pockets of the city. You know, that's just us thinking like a man. Brothers might be in the city or uh, some brothers might go to the wilderness or whatnot. But one thing for sure, we're going to be off the fucking grid because nobody we not getting a damn chip or die. OK, but the most High was with him and he didn't let um, David fall in Saul's hand. And that's what the most High is going to do for the brothers that built their relationship with him and saw the why he may be found, man. And when the insurrection come, when the devil come down with great wrath, the most high gonna deliver us, man. Lord willing, we in that number. So with that, I'm gonna give infinite honors to Yahweh by Shem Al Shah by Shem Karkadash. I'm gonna give dumb honest time with teachers, the process of great millstone, and salutation to my fellow labors in Yahweh Shah, pushing his true cross of four winds. Kwam Yasharala, Baba Bomb.